Hey, it's Friday. Glad that we have this opportunity to share together. Um, if you watch every day, you probably get tired of me giving updates on what's happening and kind of fast forward. I get it. Uh, but I do this in case there's someone who uh, doesn't get the information and hasn't heard it yet. So please forgive me if you've heard it already. And if you haven't, um, this is news for you. Um, but just to let you know, this Sunday is our 10 a.m. outdoor service. And um, we are uh, following that up with, um, with our church picnic. And uh, it's going to be socially distanced, with gloves, masks. Um, so we'll make sure the food is distributed um, well. Please bring a dish um, to pass, a dessert. Those are the two things. We'll take care of drinks. We'll take care of uh, hot buns and hot dogs and uh, sausages and, and hamburgers. So that's on us. We're taking care of that and uh, all condiments. So um, we hope you'll join us. That starts at 10 o'clock. It's at the Fireman's Field in, Sto excuse me, in Stony Creek. You can check that out. Um, that information on our website. And then just a reminder, moms, dads, uh, please go on our website. Uh, we have the information there um, regarding uh, Splash Kids restarting on uh, September 13th. We're very excited. We want to get our kids back. School starting so we can start to do uh, our child, you know, our, our kids programs as well. So we are very, very excited about that and hope that you and your kids will um you know, jump back in and, and get going again. So here's the, um, here's the deal. I talked yesterday about if you want to change, you've got to bring somebody in. You can't do it alone. Um, so I, I want to take the next step. If you want to change, you've got to, um, here's, here's the deal. In order to change, you, you have to take off the old and put on the new. So we're inviting people in, we're, we're having them um, keep us accountable, work with us, you know, we're, we're pulling something in, someone into our life we talked about yesterday. We've talked about if we want to change, we've got to change, if we want to change our actions, we've got to change how we think. Um, and, and that's important. We have to make sure that we are um, changing, you can't change an action without changing, um, without changing how you think. And to finish this up this week on change, uh, I want to talk about taking off the old, putting on the new. And we're going to kind of wrap up all of this. We're going to use a different version of Scripture today. We're going to use um, the new international version. We've been using the New Living Translation. Um, but I want to talk to you from Ephesians, and we're going to take the verses that we've looked at, 22, 23, and 24, put them all together. And here's what it says. It says, put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds. And... Put on the new self created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. In order to change, we have to take something off and put something on. In order to change, we have to take off the old, the old self, the old way of thinking, the old desires, the old patterns, the old habits, the old hang-ups, and I have to put on new. I have to put on the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Because the righteousness of Christ Jesus is what is making me holy. Now, that sounds really easy in one sense, right? Like, oh, okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm deciding, I, I, I'm, I don't want to smoke anymore. I'm just going to take off the old smoker self. I'm going to put on the new no smoker self. Well, we know that's not that easy, right? We know that this is a process. We know that this is an ongoing battle and change in our life. Change, we said uh, a couple of days ago, takes time. It doesn't happen immediately. It doesn't happen overnight, and it doesn't happen in a vacuum. Okay, we have to we have to bring people in to help us. We need community um, in order to change. Um, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen unless we change how we think. It doesn't happen also unless we take off the old and put on the new. You're you're. We are never going to be who Christ has created and designed us to be and keep our old way of thinking and keep our old habits and do things the way we've always done. We have to take that off. We have to put on 
the new. Now, this is not, again, I'm, uh, I just want to say this again. You're not, we are not going to do this in one shot. You're not going to go to the altar all of a sudden. That happens once in a great while. There's, you know, for instance, going back to the smoking um, illustration, there are people who prayed, boom. My dad was one of those people who's a smoker, and um, he prayed, and one night God delivered him from smoking. Amazing. Um, so it does, but it's don't plan on that. Plan on it being a process of taking it off, taking it off, taking it off, taking it off, until one day you go, oh, you know what, that jealousy, that anger, that bitterness, that rage, that habit, you know what, I'm not battling with that anymore. Christ is making me, putting on the new. You have to keep doing it. You have to keep working at it. So let me ask you this morning, what are some old things that you need to take off of your mind, your body, your life? What are some old things that need to change? It might be, it might be as drastic as some old friends. Sometimes, listen, to go up, we have to leave some things behind. And you say, well, I love them and I want to see them come to Christ. But the bottom line is you're not that person who's doing that for them. They're pulling your da you down. You're not pulling them up. What are some new things that you need to fill your, your mind and your body with? What are some new habits that are going to help you to do that? For some of us, that means we have to discipline ourselves. Well, all of us, it means we have to discipline ourselves to be in the Word every day. We have to spend 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes reading Scripture and memorizing it and allowing and, and stopping and thinking about it. One of the things that we do in our 60-day challenge is we ask people to stop. The very first thing is stop, relax, take a moment. Now, begin to read and journal your thoughts. And we have a process there that you can journal. We call it Space Pets. We took it from uh, Rick Warren. So, you know, what are some specific things I need to confess? What are some, you know, going down through it? And, and it makes you stop and think about that scripture, not just read it and move on. You have to actually think through it. Um, that needs to be a habit that all of us have. But some of the new habits, maybe we need to, to stop watching certain TV shows and some movies and so on and so forth because that reinforces some thoughts um, and thought patterns in our life. Some of us, we need to change um, some of the places we go and, and, you know, what are some habits, what are some habits that need to, that we need to change and what are some habits that we need to begin to form that will change? What's the music we listen to? What are the books that we read? You know, so on and so forth. And then what are some ways, right? Um, or what are some areas? Let me change that. What are some areas that you really, really desire to be more like Christ? What are some areas that you, when we talk about righteousness and holiness, what are some areas that really are, that you think about when I say that, that you go, you know what, Boy, I would love to be more patient. I would love to be more generous. I'd love to be more kind. I would love to be more disciplined. I really, this is, and begin to pray about it and begin to, to read about it, begin to watch some YouTube videos if, if necessary about that, begin to get around people who are like that and begin to reorder and rethink your life so that you can develop. You got to have a plan. You got to have a target, right, to aim at in order to achieve it. Let's pray. Lord, thank you this morning that we can take off the old, put on the new, that your righteousness is available to us as we go after you. Lord, I pray that, you, that today, um, as we finish our, our five-day discussion on change, I pray that today uh, would be a catalyst and, and just push us, propel us into uh, an even stronger desire, such a desire that we begin to take action. We begin to take action to see this change occur in our life. Give us the strength, not just the will. Give us the will, Lord, we do pray, but give us the strength to do it. May we not only be heroes of the word, but doers of it as well. I pray in Christ's name. Amen. As always, thank you for a few moments of your time. I look forward to seeing you on Monday morning. Blessings. Have a great week, and we'll see you at 10 o'clock uh, Sunday morning at the Fireman's Field in Stony Creek if you're in the Brantford area.